Hello and welcome to Accounting Lecture, one of the most loved accounting YouTube channels, especially for IGCAC Accounting, a AQA at Excel, Cambridge, OCR, A levels, ATO levels, or any other accounting qualification you're doing from wherever in the world. This channel is for you. Do consider subscribing. This video is about petty cash. Well, what is a petty cash? It's all about the small expenses. Make low value cash purchases. You know, the chief accountant, he's really busy. He does not have enough um, time to look after the small expenses such as travel expense, like you went somewhere with a taxi or bus or refreshment like tea or coffee. Uh, you cannot bother your boss or chief accountant every then and there. Oh, give me five pound, two pound or dollars um, and let's spend it. So what does a chief accountant or chief cashier do? Gives a lump sum amount of money to the junior accountant or cashier as a petty cash. And from that money, junior accountant or the junior cashier keeps spending to maintain the small amounts of uh, uh, expenses in business. That's all about your petty cash. Have a look. The examples they're given a stationery could be postage, yes. And uh, it could be um, casual payments such as non-payroll wages, even window cleaner uh, travel, I said refreshment, which is coffee or tea, sundry expenses, you can talk about it. Petty cash, there is a process of claiming it. You claim it from your top cashier, the cheap cashier, and being a junior cashier, we keep it uh, our, to ourselves. What is the process? There's something called impressed system, which I'm going to talk about in a minute. But uh, before that, let's uh, learn how does it work? You know, the boss, top accountant, chief accountant, he writes out or she writes out a check or even could be a cash, let's assume 100 pound. The higher cashier given to low cashier. And then if it is a check, then you're going to make it uh, notes and coins from the bank and put it into the petty cash box. Yes, it is a box which should be locked anyway. It's your duty. Uh, to keep it safe and from that uh, 100 pound you'll be kept spending for uh, different different expenses postage and stationery and uh, tea and coffee and something like um, small expenses petty cash claim now let's assume you kept spending from 100 you already spent 80 how much you left with 20 isn't it yes 20 so this 20 you're going to start next month, if it is monthly, it could be weekly, fortnight, yeah? So let's say you monthly, next month, when you start at the beginning of the month, you have £20. But your impressed system is a float, basically. Let me take you to the impressed system. That is your impressed system. It's like a float. As we said, we had at the beginning £20, but we want to make it 100 100 is your impressed every month you start with 100 how much money you need to reimburse from your boss top accountant yes 80 so it becomes 100 then again you keep spending 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 that's all about your impressed system with petty cash well that was the concept let's do a real work of accounting from cambridge igcac this is a particular question from uh, the person called Jay, he maintains a petty cash book. Uh, before I read the question entirely, I would like to show you how does a petty cash book looks like. Have a look. This is a petty cash book looks like. It's a J petty cash book. This is your heading at the top. Then this is a two side, debit side and credit side. This side is your DR, debit side. Date, detail, folio and total receipt. Yeah. So this is your date column. Detail column folio, not much needed. It's a reference and uh, received. Total money received. This is your money. Debit means money in cash book. And right inside, everything is your money out. Started with day detail voucher number, VO. Voucher number is needed because you need to claim your petty cash against your voucher. Mm, total paid that then individual like if you paid for cleaning a postage or traveling or sundry expenses they said sundry you can put anything which you are not sure about it that uh, which is not basically traveling postage cleaning you can put in the, um, sundry expenses it could be um, other expenses 
like refreshment or something uh, similar. You can put here so refreshment or anything which is relevant from the information. Well, this is the layout and your credit side is money out. Then at the end, we do total and balance CDBD. Let me quickly erase all these things. And let's go to the question, read it one by one and solve it. Well, so Jay maintains a petty cash book with a monthly impressed system, $120. What is an impressed system? Just a little earlier, we had a discussion. This is the money, $120. Jay starts with every month because it's a monthly, yeah? Every month. And he gonna keep spending and he spent already this much money. Whatever we left, Jay will collect from the boss and start the next month again. That's all about petty cash and we need to maintain the uh, T account or the uh, cash book. This is part of the cash book and ledger as well. Cash books are ledger and day books, books of prime entry as well. Yeah. Moving on. Uh, Reese told the first day of each month he provided the following information. March 1 balance is 19 pound. Uh, then received cash to restore uh, the impressed system. He had a balance of 19 and remaining, he is going to get restored from the top cashier. So how much money he needs to restore? Let's take the calculator on screen. 120 is his impressed system and he has 19 pound dollars this time. So 101 needs to be restored from the boss. 101 should be through cash or bank. Then look at this paid postage. Okay, paid bus fare. Okay, bought tea and coffee. We don't have any refreshment here. Tea and coffee is basically refreshment or entertainment, but we can put it into the sundry expenses. And then uh, what else? Received a cash from employee. Now a money in. So which side are you going to put in it? Debit or credit? Debit side, left hand side. Over here somewhere. Yep. Then bought stationery, more expenses, paid cleaner, more expenses, paid taxi fare, expenses. Write up Jay's petty cash book for March. Balance the book and bring the balance down. So balance CDBD. And we're going to restore again. Uh, show the restoration. They even specifically asked for the restoration. So let's get started. Start with this balance BD and uh, restoration. So the balance BD, what is the date and month? First of March. It's all happening in March 2000. No year given. So that's all right. March. We're going to write here. First of March. We we'll call it balance BD. And how much was there? Nineteen pound dollars. Yeah, nineteen dollars. And the same day we have restored uh, through. It could be let's assume bank. Bank restored hundred and one. That's my uh, first entry. This one and restoration done. Then most of these are paid. Paid postages. Uh, third, third of March. Uh, postage. We can call it. I know there is no voucher number, but there is some payment. How much? Six pound. At first, you need to write into the total six pound. Then again, six into the postage. Nothing in between. The cleaning, sundry, it's not happening over there. And that's how we're going to go over. Number three done. Th uh, eight paid bus fare, five pound. Eight March. Bus fare, five pound. Yeah, no voucher number. So ignore all of it. Five dollars, sorry. <laughs> it's a dollars, yeah? Uh, because... Uh, uh, I've been doing so many AAT and UK videos. That's a pound, pound. It's a dollars. Cambridge, we're doing it. But this is equally important for AT level two or any other um, hmm, uh, syllabus for petty cash. So it's a bus fare, not going here, not going here. Yeah, it is five pound in the travel expenses. Traveling gone. Number three is bought tea and coffee. I'm going to put it into the Asandre 11. We can call it tea and coffee. Tea. And coffee. Hold on, I put it in the wrong place, isn't it? I should put in the detail, yeah? D, coffee, 11 is here. What is the date? I think 13. Yeah, it is 13. So 13. And tea and coffee is going. 11 here, sundry expenses. Then, 
Oh, then this is a little unusual. Received cash from anybody. It could be employee has returned or any sub, uh, customer, even supplier dealing. So two pound, 18th of March. Go to the 18th here on the credit side. On that? Yes, credit side. 18 and uh, the postage refund. How much was the money? Two pound. Yeah, I remember. Two pound. That's great so far. Bought stationery 21 for 22 pounds. 21 stationery 22 pound. And he put it into the postage and stationery 22 pound. Let's write it in the middle nicely. Stationery. <laughs> okay. Then paid cleaner 27, 49 pound. So 27, 49 pound cleaner. Cleaner and 49 is here. Yep. Then only one more left. 30 paid taxi fare nine. So let's go to the 30th of uh, nine pound. Yeah. So it's 30th of the month taxi. How much is nine pound? No. Yeah, it is nine pound. And where is the taxi traveling? Nine pound. So it happened twice in the postage and traveling that's all right not a problem let's do the total now i'm going a little up now yeah we can do a total i'm erasing this one uh i'm just keeping some space at the top and the bottom because we have plenty of spaces what are you going to do we're going to do a total total of all the expenses taking my calculator on screen Expenses are 6 plus 5 plus 11 plus 22 plus 49, yeah, plus 9. How much we spent? 102. 102. So, how much we have on the debit side? 120 and 2. Let's do the total of the debit side as well. When we did the total... This is 122. But how much we spent? 102. How much you left with the then? 20 pounds, don't you? 20. You can do this presentation. The, uh, this is the way. 30th of uh, um, end of this March, we call it balance CD. This balance CD is going to be balance BD on the opposite side. 1st of March, April, next month. Uh, 20. 20 pounds you are left with. How much you need to bring it uh, from your top cashier next month to make it 120? Yes, 100 more. So 1st of April, this is called restoration. Um, it could be bank or cash. 100 pounds more. You, Because every month you start with 120 impressed. At the beginning of month of March, you had 120. Then you received two more. 122 and throughout the month you spend 102 you are left with 20 for the next month then again the boss cheap cashier has given you 100 more to start your month with 120 this is called impressed system now still not finished yet what you got to do we need to do the total of individual accounts yeah which you're going to do it 49 this is easy straight away 22 plus 6 i trust my calculator 22 plus 6 so that's i suggest you trust your calculator even for 1 plus 1 2 you do you use your calculator yeah and um, 5 plus 9 is uh, 14 and 11 well boom that is your petty cash one quick item i'd like to uh, tell you when your top cashier gonna give you this hundred pound what's gonna happen with your business's bank bank gonna go down and petty cash gonna go up isn't it so if you meant to do that type of account bank credit by 100 and petty cash debit petty cash debit by uh, 100 that's what you do then also if you meant to do individual t accounts for cleaning a postage or something like that or uh, traveling if so let's say you're doing cleaning generally cleaning is what it's an expense isn't it cleaning is expense debit 49 and petty cash credit 49 which is anyway on the credit side that's all from this video please do consider subscribing watch our all other videos shine in your exams i wish you all the very best i'm a qualified chartered accountant been teaching in the united kingdom many different colleges and institutions it's about 15 years now so you are under safe hands
do share your success story. Thousands of students are already uh, doing absolutely marvelous in their exams and sharing their thoughts in the comments. So what are you waiting for? See you in some other video. Goodbye for today.